That's the Jerry Douglas Band off the What If album. And the song title is 219. He said that's the train that we're going to be taking. For that was the birthday boy, John Bryan. Happy birthday, Got original John. 1968 the Ford Mustang. John it's original AM, FM radio. These are kind of hard to find. Pretty rare. Uh, we've done a full cleanup on it, case and all. Polished everything on the front. Uh, done a full Aurora design conversion in it. It's got a AM, FM. It's got stereo. Four channels out. 45 watts a channel. It's got an auxiliary in, which is automatic. I'm uh, charging my iPod right now. You have a USB port. This will also charge your phone, your devices, and play a thumb drive. You'll be getting a thumb drive with it. Get the camera set up just a little bit better. See if I can find my thumb drive. I don't know where it is. It's got a USB port. You'll play it, get a thumb drive here. It's only got one song on it, but we'll play it. Show you how it works. It also has Bluetooth, voice command, voice assistance. We'll be running it in. Uh, push button operated. These are this is a blue one. They light up once you uh, log on or put in a thumb drive. This will operate your phone, answer your phone. Phone call comes in. You just touch this one time and talk. This is a blue one. They come in blue and red. We'll demonstrate that. I think we got enough juice in here to operate this little dude. It's heating up. We'll unplug it. And uh, we'll go on with it. Uh, everything works like it always did on the radio. Right now you're on FM, stereo. you got to operate an LED, a little small one right here. It tells you where the radio is. And it's for diagnostic purposes, too. Uh, original stereo light. If you want to go to FM, you just flip the dial. I mean AM. That puts you on F on AM radio. We got all the push buttons working like they always did. If I can set some presets up. I didn't set up any for FM. AM. Well, let's go over here and find us a. Go ahead and find us a channel. Ain't a whole lot on AM. There we go. Alright. So we got that set up. That's 650 in Nashville. And this is each life is unique. All lives should be honored. That's AEM there. If you want to go back to FM, just change the slider bar. This is the love of Jesus. The leverage here. Put you back on the FM. Are on the line. It, it's Original background light. This, I got to put a you know, piece of tape over that. Talk about comprehensive immigration reform and trying this radio also has a built-in uh, fader. Uh, back when these come out, they were just stereo. It had a built-in stereo, right and left balance. We picked up balance over here with the uh, toner control. So we turned around, and made this a fader because for four speakers. Just the Senate to get that that thing passed. There's so many parts of this um, of this laundry list that there. Is there's widespread opposition from the Democrats. There's wide, and there's depending on which piece of it. There's then, uh, of opposition in your toner control, budget hawks don't necessarily like spending. These are not the knobs for that radio. On, millions more for more go back to the center notch and go counterclockwise twice. One, two. Company. It's gonna put you in the balance mode. Republicans who really your right. this idea of completely overhauling there's our legal immigration lefts. system. So there's great division within the Republican Party there, um, and it comes back. Find to out Trump what you want. Let it be. 
this uh, a few back times, on Toner. That it's just impossible to really know what. <laughs> That's how your fighter built in balance, built in balance, built in fighter works. Uh, your auxiliary in is automatic. You'll get a male to male cord like this. And all you do is just simply plug it in. This will be your harness here that you can hide or put it underneath your dash. You can take it out of this mount, put it in a round hole. And uh, all you do is plug in your device, any device, phone, CD players, whatever you want to, bring it up. Let's go to music. We're just going to go... Um, shuffle all music. As soon as you turn on, it switch automatically switches over. A little LED went to green. Anytime you're on an auxiliary end device and you want to come off of it, all you do is just simply turn it off. The radio will go back to doing what it was doing which was FM in 20 seconds. We're going to let it run the cycle because we're running it in. And then we'll go on to demonstrate something else. You don't have to unplug the device. You can just put it in the glove box, turn it off, back to FM. We're going to do our Bluetooth. Bring our phone up, make sure we're on Bluetooth. Alright, we're going to take the push button, we're going to hold it down, let the her help us. Showed up on her phone, all we got to do is tap on it, she will tell us when it's done. Now we're connected up, we're going to go to music. Uh, you have a built-in mic, which is right in behind this uh, push button here. And you also get additional mic if your car is a little loud, you want to get the mic closer to you. If not, I found these to be very effective. They work well. Uh, let's do a voice command, make sure our mic's working. We're going to play music off the phone. Hold it down again. Play music. We know the mic is working. Alright, we're going to music on my phone. Want to advance your music? Now you notice the button's lit up. All you gotta do is just press it once. That'll advance your songs. Twice to repeat or back up. Like I said, phone call comes in. You just press that button once and talk. You get done, you let the phone hang up, or you actually hit it twice to end the call. It will go back to doing whatever you had the radio doing. Let's go back to, I could just turn this off. It'll go back to FM and turn it on and go back to the phone, or I can use voice command. Let's do that. Let's go back to radio. Stop music. Stop music. Oh. I don't want that. Let's do that again. Stop music. Music stop. Now we're going back to radio. That's how your uh, Bluetooth works. And every time, once you do the initial pair up and get in your car and turn the radio on, you have your phone with you. It will automatically, she'll come on and say device paired, so you shouldn't have to pair it up at one time. It'll take up the five devices, it'll always pick the very first one. USB port, I ain't got but one song on this, I couldn't find my other. All you do is just simply plug it in.
push button operates your phones, press it once, it'll advance twice to back up or repeat. We'll go back to the beginning of that song. There's only one song on it. You notice the LED is a different color. Now if we want to go to pause, we're going to put this in pause because a lot of people hide these. You don't have to take it out unless you want to put a new one in. Put music on there or charge your device. All you do is simply hold this down for one second. We're going to go put it in pause and go back to radio. This little light is going to blink a few times along with that one there. And now we're going back to radio. Back on FM where we had it. Now if you want to go down the road and you want to go to USB, you don't have to pull the stick out and stick it back in to make it work. All you got to do is hold this button down one second and we'll go right back to USB. Back on USB. Hold it down again, go right back to radio, one second. Everything will be labeled for you. Next morning I grabbed my gun. I took the shot, it away. It's original 1968 Mustang Ford AM FM radio. Uh, roar design on it. It is ready to go. I appreciate you letting me do it for you.